We turned to the final page on the 2014 calendar this week, said so long to November and welcomed in December. Gone, for the most part, are the days of swinging and sliding at the playground. It's time now to lace up the skates and prepare for winter. Ken showed us what that means for town workers in Monroe. He's going to mix it with another load of sand, and then he's going to mix it with salt. Speaking of winter preps, we got a request from someone this week asking us to look into how you can get scammed if you buy firewood from websites like Craigslist. Experts say you may not get the amount or the quality you expect. Try to find companies that are that already have a good reputation for selling firewood because they'll they have a good reputation for a reason. Of course, we are also preparing for Christmas. And in some neighborhoods, that means going all out to deck the halls and apparently your children. From festive holiday parades to fantastic Christmas trees, you showed us both traditional and themed. These are part of the annual Festival of Trees at Masonicare in Wallingford. The elf on the shelf is getting into trouble again. Jacqueline and Rosemary are knitting blankets for patients at St. Vincent's, and Casey is now Santa Cat in a Santa hat. Meanwhile, Santa Claus himself is showing up all over the place, cross-checking his list, more nice than naughty, we hope, and listening to what's on the wish lists of kids across Connecticut. This week was not without its news, from a plane that turned a roadway into an emergency runway to more pop-up protests of the Ferguson grand jury decision. Cheshire swimmer Ellie was honored at the Allstate Banquet. CJ got his orange belt, and the Greater New Haven Warriors Squirt A team won a tournament. <laughs> West Haven's Pop Warner team was a winner as well. Finally, congrats to the girls from Jonathan Law High School. They've won this year's bragging rights, beating Foreign in Milford's annual Powder Puff football game. And as always, we love to see your pictures, your videos, your story suggestions. You can upload them at WTNH.com, email them, report it at WTNH.com, or use the News 8 app on your smartphone.